A meeting has been arranged for you with a Swiss banker named La Chaise. La Chaise was paid three million pounds for a stolen report, a report that one of our double-O agents was tracking just before he got killed. We want to know who was responsible for his death. La Chaise may try to avoid meeting you directly. If this occurs, evade the security system and track him down. His office is on the penthouse floor. When you find La Chaise, get the name of the person who killed our agent, retrieve the three million pounds and escape with the money. Good luck, 007. To help you defeat the metal detectors, I'm providing you with a very low frequency disruptor. When activated, all metals within a five foot radius become undetectable. For more urgent situations, I'm giving you a flashbang. Disguised as a small flashlight, this device emits a quiet high intensity charge that will temporarily blind anyone facing it. Finally, I'm equipping you with a fingerprint scanner to defeat more sophisticated lock and security systems. James, do take care of yourself, and remember to bring me back a souvenir from the trip. A meeting has been... May I help you? I'm here to see La Chaise. The name's Bond. James Bond. I'm sorry, Mr. Bond. He is currently unavailable. Perhaps you'd like to wait here for another representative? Sorry, sir. This area is restricted to employees only. Now on a high security floor below the penthouse, locate the elevator that will access the penthouse level.
La Chaise's personal guards are heavily armoured. Stay away from them. The report that Sir Robert King bought was stolen from an MI6 agent who was killed for it. I want to know who killed him. It's a terrible tragedy, but... The Nameless says... All right, all right. But you'll have to protect me from... Double O Seven. A bomb has exploded at MI6 headquarters. The blast killed Sir Robert King as he was collecting the money you retrieved from La Chaise. The assassin is currently escaping by boat on the Thames. You must apprehend her alive. We need to find out who she is working for. Get after her immediately. Double O Seven. I have a new device for you. A grappling hook. Embedded in your watch may come in handy if you need to make a quick getaway. I would offer my new fishing boat to help you out, but it's not quite finished yet. Looks as if you'll need to find some other means of transport. Do you hear me, 007? This mission should be fairly easy for you, James. You've never seemed to have trouble catching women.
007, she appears to be planning her escape on board a hot air balloon. Double O seven, the balloon is taking off. You don't have much time left. The attack on MI6 and the assassination of Sir Robert King appears to have been the handiwork of Victor Zocas, also known as Renard the Anarchist. A few years ago, Renard kidnapped King's daughter, Electra. I sent 009 to rescue Electra and kill Renard. 009 shot Renard in the head, but he survived and is now back for revenge. We anticipate Renard's next target will be Electra King. She's planning a trip to the Caucasus Mountains to examine her father's oil pipeline. Your mission is to escort Electra to the pipeline and protect her from danger. 007, you excel at destroying my equipment. You'll be without your stunner, since you nearly destroyed it in that fall you took from the hot air balloon. So if I don't have enough to do, I'll have to repair it while you're up in the mountains. Oh, yes, and don't forget that inflatable jacket I made for you. It can protect you from avalanche danger. James, don't mix business with pleasure. Remember, this is a shadow operation. Shadows stay in front or behind, never on top.
007, those parahawks did not find you by chance. Renard must have an insider, someone who knows where Electra is at all times. Your old acquaintance, Zukovsky, owns a nearby casino. With his ties to the KGB, Zukovsky may have useful information. Find Zukovsky and question him. I suppose you can't get into too much trouble in a casino, 007, so you won't be needing your weapons. But I am equipping you with a credit card lockpick to access locked rooms. Oh, why do I even bother? Another chance to gamble on love, James. I hope you don't lose your shirt. Have you seen Zagowski around? I need to talk to him, but that guard at the door won't let me by. You must contact Zukovsky directly. Try to lure the guard away from his office door. Have you met my boyfriend? He's head of casino security, the one over by Sokovsky's door. I hope he doesn't get jealous that I'm talking to him. Excuse me, sir, but I must see your credit voucher to enter the VIP area. James Bond! What do I deserve this great honor? I'm not sure that I can help you, since I'm now a legitimate businessman. <laughs> you care for some caviar? It's my own brand, Zakowski's Finest. Where's Renard? The terrorist? Yes, the terrorist. He has bombed MI6 and killed Sir Robert King. Now he's after Electra King. He can't have done this all by himself, and I think you know who has been helping him. Electra King? This kind of information doesn't come for free, even for you, Mr. Bond. Hmm, I have an idea. You're a gambling man, yes? I will give you this voucher. You can play in my casino for as long as you like. If you come back with more than 100,000, I'll give you the information you want. Deal? Deal. Sorry, you must have a voucher to enter. Ah, thank you, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Right this way, Mr. Bond.
Welcome, Mr. Bond. In blackjack, the dealer gives the player two cards and deals himself one card face up. When the player is done drawing cards, the dealer then draws his second card. The object of the game is to draw cards that add up to 21, or as close to 21 as possible, without going over, busting. 10, jack, queen and king count 10. Aces count either 1 or 11, as you choose. If you hit, and your total is more than 21, you have busted and you lose. If you do not go over 21, and the dealer goes over, then you win. Dealers must stand on a 17. Good luck, sir. Well played, Mr. Bond. Good luck, sir. Well played, Mr. Bond. Good luck, sir. Another car? Well played, Mr. Bond. You have enough money to bribe Zakorsky, 007. Get back to his office right away. Very impressive, Bond. Your vision appears to be quite good. So what was it that you wanted to know? Ah yes, Renard's insider. Do you know someone by the name of Davidov? He's Electra's head of security. So he's made it to head of security? Well, whatever his title is now, at one time he was an associate of Renard. It seems that Electra does not share the same concern for her safety as you do, Mr. Bond. What? She's just entered the casino. We should probably go and greet her. Double O Seven, we need evidence of Davidov's involvement with Renard. Your job is to bug the telephones inside the villa and photograph any evidence that may implicate Davidov as the insider. Avoid the villa guards and do not use lethal force unless fired upon. Now listen up, Double O Seven. Along with your stunner, I'm supplying you with a tranquilizer dart gun as a secondary means of non-lethal attack. Its ammo supply is limited, so make all your shots count. I'm also supplying you with a micro camera. Simply equip, activate, center the objective in the viewfinder, and click the picture. For bugging the telephones, I'm giving you a bugging gadget that you can use on any phone you come across. And finally, to get you into locked areas, you'll have your credit card lockpick gadget. I see you're going to be keeping an eye on Davidoff for this mission. I'm curious who's going to be keeping an eye on you.
We've been tracking Davidov's position and he's currently away from the villa. Remember to maintain a low profile at all times. Do not engage any of Electra's security.
Using the telephone bugs you planted, we just monitored a call between Davidoff and a local airfield. Davidoff is now in the villa's main entrance hall, but is leaving soon for Kazakhstan. Intercept him and question him about Renard. Davidoff will probably be protected by a group of his own personal henchmen, so be prepared for a fight. The game's over, Davidoff. I know about your dealings with Renard. Bond, what are you doing here? I have no idea what you're talking about. Besides, you're the intruder. I'm merely doing my job. Kill him!
007. Acquire the ID badge that Davidoff is carrying to help further our investigation. Davidov's plane has landed near a nuclear test facility in the former Soviet Republic of Kazakhstan. Your primary objective is to find Reynard and discover his intentions. The ID you took from Davidov is actually a phony ID for Dr. Arkov, a Russian nuclear scientist who you will be impersonating. Be prepared to show the Arkov ID badge to the Kazakhstan soldiers. We will track your progress and contact you later. Double seven. I've upgraded your glasses with enhanced night vision, and you'll also have your grappling hook watch. Always handy in tight spots. Looking at the Christmas Jones dossier, I see she's quite attractive, and also a nuclear physicist. Let's try to keep that relationship plutonic, shall we? Avoid harming the technicians, but Renard and his men must be stopped at all costs. Good afternoon, Dr. Arkov.
Sorry, sir. I cannot allow you to pass. Afternoon, Dr. Arkov. Dr. Arkov, I'm the chief IDA physicist here, and I need to know what your men think they're doing with that nuclear warhead. Those aren't my men, Dr. Jones. They're terrorists. Now where is that warhead? They took it down that hall. I also saw one of them remove the locator card. So if they get away with the warhead, we won't be able to track it down. Seven, you must stop Renard from escaping with the warhead. Retrieve the bomb and the locator card.
feelings, Mr. Bond, but we're even. Soon, you'll feel nothing at all. Renard's forces have just seized control of one of Electra King's oil refineries. We believe that Renard plans to destroy the refinery with a stolen nuclear warhead. Surveillance shows that many of the plant technicians are being held hostage at various locations in the refinery. Rescue all the hostages and stop Renard. I'm equipping you with your standard issue weapons. Your flashbang gadget will be a useful tool in hostage situations. Just remember that it has limited charges, so use them wisely. You'll also have your night vision glasses for times when the lights are low, and I don't mean in the bedroom. James, you obviously have a personal attachment to this case. The question is, who is it? Electra or Christmas? How do I get to the maintenance rigs? The pipeline runs all the way to the maintenance rigs, but it's pumping oil right now. If you can shut it down, you can travel through it. Thanks, that's all I needed to know. Renard's men have blockaded the main entrance to the switching station. In order to get to the bomb in time, you'll need to drain the main pipeline and use it as an alternate approach.
Good work draining the main oil pipeline, 007. Renard's men have finished loading the bomb on the maintenance rig and are preparing it for launch. Get to the pipeline access hatch and make your way to the rig switching station. Hurry! Christmas! What are you doing here? I told you to stay behind me. Somebody had to be here who actually knows how to disarm the warhead. The bomb is headed down the pipeline. That second rig is offline right now. Hold them off for a minute, and I'll get the rig running so we can chase down the bomb. Hurry up. I think we're about to get some company.
Red alert, 007. Three of our men have been killed at the pipeline, and M and Electra King are missing. We must find them. We suspect that Electra's million-dollar loss at Zakowski's casino may have been a payoff. MI6 has spotted Zakowski's car heading towards his caviar factory in Baku. Find out what Zakowski knows before Renard or Electra get to him first. Oh, hello there, 007. Well, for this mission, I'm equipping you with a small video camera. When the micro sensors near the record button detect your fingerprint pattern, the camera functions as a mini rocket launcher. It uses a compact but powerful heat-seeking stinger missile. Just aim, listen for the lock-on, and fire. The only drawback is that it can hold only a few rockets at a time, but not to worry, I put a case with more rockets in the trunk of your car. James, maybe you can bring me back some caviar? That is, if you don't destroy the whole factory first.
Get across the pipeline, 007. You're too vulnerable outside. Zakovsky's right-hand man, Bullion, has turned out to be an insider working for Renard. You must find and apprehend him before he causes any more destruction. Stay alert for more MI6 messages. Since Bullion has got a step ahead of you, he'll probably be doing everything he can to slow you down. Now, I've equipped you with a magnetic explosive pen device that can destroy doors or barriers. Just click it three times, attach it, and step back. A three-second timer counts down before the charge is set off. And do be careful, 007. I have a feeling Boolean wants to be chased. Boolean's most distinguishing feature is his gold teeth. It shouldn't be hard to spot him.
007, bullion was seen exiting the subway train and heading to the ventilation shaft of the subway station. Bad you're in such a hurry to catch me, Bond. I'd love to see you join the hundreds of people throughout the subway who will die once the sudden gas fills the ventilation system. MI6 is picking up readings of an explosive device coming from the ventilation shaft of the subway station. Double O seven, expose the bomb core and use your stunner to short circuit the electronic timer. Double O seven, use your stunner on the bomb core. <laughs> Bullion has left the subway and is heading to the docks. Intercept him before he gets away. The situation looks grim, 007. You are being held prisoner within an ancient Turkish structure called Maiden's Tower. We've triangulated the signal beacon from the locator card you gave to M at the refinery. It's coming from one of the upper levels of the tower. You must escape and find M, then find and confront Electra King. 007, there's nothing I can do for you from here. When you escape, reacquire all of your weapons as soon as you can. James, what can I say? 
I just wish you were in my hands instead of the hands of the enemy. They confiscated your weapons, but they are probably nearby in a storage container. Stay low until you find your weapons.
Pim, I've got to get you out of here. You'll need an explosive device to defeat this reinforced lock. I had one in my purse, but Reynard's men confiscated all my items and locked them up in a storeroom. Here's a key. I took this from one of the guards. It doesn't work for my cell, but should work for other secured rooms. I'll be right back. Just a minute, James. When I was imprisoned, I overheard some numbers that I think are connected to the tower's electronic security system. I'll need some time to unlock all the tower doors for you. Then you must stop Electra. When I realized my father wouldn't rescue me from the kidnappers, I knew I had to form a new alliance. I told you, I have a certain power over men. I turned Renard, just like I turned you. And with the destruction of the other oil trading routes passing through Istanbul, my oil, my family's oil, will be a legacy. Now, unfortunately, I have no more use for you. It's too bad. I could have given you the world. The world is not enough. Foolish sentiment. Family motto. Gabor, kill him. Double O seven. 
Gabor is too heavily armored. Use his explosives against him. Tell Renard to call off the sub. It seems that you are in no position to make demands of me. Renard, take the sub and proceed as planned. Oh, and make sure you give your guest, Dr. Jones, a slow, painful death. You see, James, you can't kill me. You'd miss me. I never miss. Double O Seven, Renard is escaping in a Russian nuclear-powered submarine. We think he intends on inserting the stolen plutonium rod into the sub's reactor core to create a nuclear meltdown. Renard will die, but it's a parting gift to the woman he loves, Electra. The Bosphorus trading route, the only remaining competition for Electra King's pipeline, will be destroyed. James, millions will die if this catastrophe occurs. You must stop Renard and rescue Dr. Jones. Good luck, James. M has given you a radiation detector card, 007. Seeing that you will be going after a nuclear submarine and a madman with six kilos of plutonium, I think this card may come in handy. It measures your personal radiation intake. Once the meter reaches the red zone, your health will start to diminish, so you must leave the contaminated area. Good luck, 007. Be careful, James. Renard is obviously a madman. Be ready for anything.
reactor is going to melt down and it will go critical. You've got to stop him. <laughs> We're detecting a high level of radiation in your immediate area. Activate your radiation detector. Keep it up, Bond! James, see if you can destroy the central computer core. This may be the only way you can stop Renard.
Into the torpedo room, now! Order! 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 Order!